Hi everyone, my name is Mauro Scandiuzzo, I'm an application manager in Steam Microelectronic and in particular I'm focused on the MEMS sensor. Today is a different kind of, uh, let's say, environment, how the ST MEMS sensor can help to build up uh, a magic wand, right? So let's uh, take a look which hardware we use for doing that. So we use a sensor title box pro that is available in our website, you can purchase. It's a, a smart IoT node with uh, several, uh, let's say, options. You have several sensors embedded, you have a connectivity, microprocessing, you have SD card, you can uh, connect through Bluetooth or you can connect also through USB cable through your computer. But in particular, we are using a different device here, and that is the reason why I put a daughter car on top of it. It's a DL24. Um, this adapter board is basically hosting this six-axis IMU, then it's called ISPU. In particular, the per number is uh, you have two flavor, one more for industrial and one more for consumer and is you can find all information in our website. This device basically is a combination of accelerometer and gyro. On the ASIC part we design a dedicated microprocessor, is a RISC 32-bit microprocessor, is a RAM base and you can realize a neural network directly on the edge, directly on the IMU to make smart things. So how is working the demo? I connect to my application this application basically have the data from Excel and Gyro. I can make the prediction of doing that. So since I want to create a spell with this magic wand, I want to create a spell and to activate a spell, I need to type I, I need to pi S, I need to type P, and I need to type U. If I will finish all these uh, four letters, I will be able to create the spell. How to activate the spell? I put myself in this position. How to start to do the letter, activate this, and after that I will do the letter. Let me show you a little bit better in detail. So we go here on this part of the app. I activate the, the recognition with this gesture. At this point, I create the first letter, I, I finish it, now is the time for the second letter, S, finish it. Now is the time for the P, finish it. And now is the time for the U. And now then I got all the game, my spell is happening. So an aspect that I would like to clarify for everybody is uh, uh, the algorithm that we use, the model that we use for uh, this, uh, let's say, ISPU, the Intelligent Sensor Point Unit. So first of all, let's say a high level, the main advantage is R3, right? One is definitely the power consumption. Uh, second uh, aspect is offloading your microprocessing. And the third, you simplify also your software development, right? Because part of that will be basically take care only from the, uh, the ISPU. But let's go a little bit more in detail. So in terms of classification, so we define basically four classes, right? The four letter ISPU, then we need to uh, identify, right? During the gesture, right? So the model is based on convolution neural network. 1D and it is basically using a, a filtered data just coming from the accelerometer, right? So we are not using basically the data from the gyroscope in this case, specific case, but just the data from accelerometer for all the three axes, X, Y, and Z. The software logic is based on a finished state machine, uh, which start and reset gestures. In terms of power consumption, and is one of the key aspects uh, about the ISPU is uh, the Excel itself, since we are just running the Excel, uh, during the inference uh, cycle, is just consuming around 50 microamps, right? During, let's say, the average power consumption, if you are thinking about uh, uh, an auto data rate around 52 hertz, we are talking about 180 microamps in high performance mode. In terms of accuracy of the algorithm, of the, the, the model, we are talking about more than 97.7%. And in a total footprint, we are talking about around 20 kilobytes. So that is more or less the characteristic of, of the model. 
Thanks guys for the attention today and if you need more information about this specific per number just type in our website ISPU and the main concept is a combination of Excel and Gyro in a smart way with capability of microprocessing through this RISC microcontroller and able to create a neural network directly on the edge. If you need more information go to our website st.com. Thank you so much for the attention today. Thank you.